Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Byte Bytes, and in this video I'm going to show you the 2D stamp layers where you can import your own custom height maps and color maps. So the stamp layers are located again here under shape layers. Go to the plus icon, select the 2D stamp layer and add it to the terrain. Currently you can't see any difference because we haven't added yet a stamp like loading in a height map and a color map. I've prepared a stamp for us. Actually, I use Word Creator for that, um, for that terrain. It's one of the samples that you can download online. Okay, so click here on the height map and select a height map. I used here a raw file, which is 16-bit. Um, double click it, then adjust the, uh, the, the width and the, and, the, and the height, adjust the bit depth, mark a big Indian, click here on OK, and it imports that height map. Now you can also import the uh, proper color map, which is already put in here so we take that one here and once you have done this we're going to adjust a little bit here these um, settings so I'm reducing the uh, so you're matching good colors for us and actually now you're done with that imported height map so you can use that map now here and move around on your terrain you can see that I have still that underground terrain which is the base shape that the generator generates for you if you want to get rid of this add a uh, sculpt layer move the stamp uh, above the sculpt layer, enable it back, and then you have all the freedom that you want to create and stamp out a terrain using existing terrains. So you have things like a height offset or like a height scale. Um, you also have things like uh, blend size and blending in general, or the blend roundness here, which can be used to do things and mix things together. Now, um, I want to show you how to blend in two stamps. Um, I'm going to use the same stamp again, just to show you also the copy function in Word Creator that also aligns to everything, right? for filters, for materials, for masks, for simulations, and also for um, shape layers. So just press um, left control and, and the left alt key, hold it down and drag it out of the uh, terrain and put it back here. So now you've copied it, it's in here twice, and yeah, that's actually it. So we can use that system now to put them all together. You can see that there is some sort of a blending issue here. So it's overwriting them entirely. This can be easily done if you reduce, for example, that one a little bit, the blend size, putting them together. That's one option. Um, another option would be like, instead of using operation override, you could use a add operation. These will add them all together or you want to maybe use also the max operation. So it takes always the maximum values of, um, of that map to override things and do anything else. Um, with the blend size, you can further adjust the blending of it, how, how these should be blended in coloring and all this uh, and all that thing. Okay, so, and with that you have actually, yeah, every option enabled to create a landscape using existing terrains, using existing um, yeah, terrain maps to lay out things. Maybe you might also create stamps in other applications and import them in World Creator and yeah, create your final terrain using this 2D stamp techniques. Okay, thanks for watching, have a great day and see you in the next video, bye bye.